It's hump day. So today our um, copycat is going to be Arby's beef and cheddar sandwiches. <laughs> so, but we're going to have sweet potato fries with that. So we're going to start those first because of course they take longer to make. So we've got sweet potatoes cut up in french fries and we're getting them in our, in our gallon baggies. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of cornstarch. Now I'm doing it differently than they say. I put everything in at one time. That's just because I'm me. And because I can. Alright, so. One tablespoon of cornstarch. And we need a half a teaspoon of garlic salt. I just got stuff all over me. And then we need a half a teaspoon of pepper. <laughs> Excuse me. And a half a teaspoon of paprika. Oh, I'm just getting all kinds of stuff all over here. Yep. I'm doing a ha heaping half teaspoon because I think the paprika really makes the difference in the taste. So, now we're going to seal up our bags. Out of it right now just before we started doing this I had something drop into my my tomato sauce and my pants jacket got everywhere on me. oh yeah yeah and it burnt me pretty good so leave just a little bit of air in there so that's got room enough to, to coat everything so you want to make sure your fries are completely coated with everything and the secret ingredient actually is the cornstarch so that you have, you know, um, you have crispy fries and not droopy fries. And keep stirring them until you get rid of all of that white. You guys, they look so good already. Yep. All right. So now, we're going to pour them on our tray and your oven should be preheated to 425. I should have told you that first, sorry. And then with sweet potato fries, you want to make sure that you spread them out a little bit because that's something else that will make them so they're not quite as uh, crispy. So make sure you get enough air in there for them. So spread that out a little bit. All right, and then they're going to go into the oven for about 25 minutes, but halfway in between, you want to make sure that you flip them so that both sides can get nice and done. And if you can, without going into details, if you guys can have positive thoughts for my friend Chelsea, because she's not feeling too well today, so. What am I going to do? Yep. So if you can put some... Positive thoughts out there would be good. Jack's having issues with even putting the stove. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So now we're going to put together the sandwiches, and we're going to kind of do what we did yesterday. We'll put a couple together, and then we'll come back when when uh, the big kahuna gets here and he can taste it. So you're going to need cheese. Now Jack and I... We buy the cheese by the 10 pound can and we um, we recan it. So we always have cheese if we need it. Now you can buy the nacho cheese or just the regular cheese at the store, but we are going to use the ones that we recan. So I'm going to open that first. And you guys, this makes for a quick dinner when you have like even the nacho cheese or any of that. It makes it so quick because it's done like in an instant because you've saved time by pre-preparing, you know what I mean? So, and you're going to need onion buns because it wouldn't be a beef and chicken without onion buns. 
So we're going to give you two to start out with, Jack. And I'm going to take two. Tom took the leftover Big Macs with him today, and he said he felt like taking a nap. Because, <laughs> um, oh, and then you can put, um, I'll put that on the second part of it, but some olive oil on your, your french fries too, but I'll wait till the middle when I flip them over. All right, you want to put our um, meat right here. Make sure you turn the burner off, Jack. We'll be burning out my house. <laughs> okay. So now the closest to the secret sauce that they have is actually Ken Steakhouse with the Country French with orange blossom honey. So you want to make sure that you use that. And then you're going to put a little bit on the bun on the bottom. See my camera is not hitting the bottom here. That's why we had to go to the little one yesterday. All right, let me see if I can move it this way a little bit so that you can see it. I'm gonna move your stuff just a little bit over, Jack, because they can't see it. All right, there we go. There we go, can you see it a little bit better, people? All right, so then take your spoon and kind of rub it in there. Now I got a little bit extra on mine, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the top. Because who doesn't like that sauce anyway? You know, I'm mean, going love that sauce. Love when they give it to us extra, too. I always ask for extra. All right. And now you're going to want to put your beef on there. And, you know, that again is up to you how thick you want it. You know, how many sandwiches you want to make. Whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want it so thick that you eat one sandwich and you're like, ugh, and you got eight buns. That'd kind of be something, wouldn't it? So I think I'm going to put maybe three on each one. Oops, we might need another spoon, too. You guys, I don't know what the count is right now, but... We're up past 240. Hello. <laughs> I think I said 246. Maybe 246. Isn't that great? So, you know, keep sharing, liking, subscribing. I'm telling you guys, you're making my day. It's just, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. So now next thing you're going to do is take that cheese and put it all over the top there. Now, if you want to be like a real one, then you put so much in there, it squirts all over and it gets all over your car, right? <laughs> That's the way their beef and cheese is. And then you're going to put your top on there. And then there's your beef and cheddar. Whoa, ho, ho. So we're going to make these up, and then when Tom gets back home... We will um, bring it back and let them taste them, and you can see how good they turned out. Again, thank you, guys. I do appreciate you. And go. All righty. We're back with a big kahuna. How is it? <laughs> Our cat must like it. How's it taste? Yummy. All right, try your fry. How's the fries? I believe it's good. You know, actually, this was um, Nessa's husband's very first meal when he got home out of the hospital. As we took him these um, beef and cheddar, remember? Mm hmm Awesome. So it's a success. You guys got to try them. They're really good. Have a blessed day and be a blessing.